certain privileges, which is very interesting. Since I just wrote a whole thing on administrative authority into Ermansel, is it the same thing? No, but do I feel validated? Yes. It's not dangerous, is it? You need to be careful when you're opening packages. I once had a friend mail me some research materials, and all the bouncing around in transit caused a reaction. Being able to see from multiple different perspectives is an interesting. Once I opened it, it let out a stench that would wake This is interesting. If your package contains anything, they have the freedom to live their own life, but they cannot undo what they've done. So, a couple of things I, I, I've been noticing is that Ermansoul doesn't actually change the events of the past. It just changes oh, how hey, you two. the world We're just talking remembers. about a strange package that Sucrose received recently. A strange package? Yes. That part's interesting I to me. Because, like, so, for Sumeru example, with came just to, study to keep this as spoiler free from the point as possible, um, collaborating on some research when, when it came to Nahida, huh? right, from an and her erasing of Ruka Devada, um, yes, he erased Ruka Devada so that no one remembered her, but the, the, the reality was that just a bunch of strange cards. all the events that Ruka Devada went through happened still. They didn't still happen, it's just that no one remembers what they happened. They just reattribute it to somebody else. Maybe those were the testing cards. You know, even if you could erase yourself from Ermansel, even if you could try to change the past or whatever, you wouldn't be able to actually go back in time, I think. And that That's my current prediction. Oh, you meant these? Huh. Sucrose, have you really never seen these before? No. How many of you guys have ever watched Recently, or Recently, I've been spending of, all my um, time up in the mountains working on cultivating Dr. pentatonic sweet flowers. Why? Is this an area of research uh, that is started trending in the Alchemical Dr. community during my absence? There's a character in there called Dr. Riverson, like, absence. notorious for <laughs> saying <laughs> You can definitely say that it's trending. Because she but and the Dr. Riverson are in opposite directions, and so she's never really sure. Like, she, like she, she's going it's one direction in time, and then she's going backwards, so, like, in his future, he meets her in the past, but in her future, she meets him in the past. So they're like going in opposite directions. But so like they're always comparing notes and trying to figure out um, where they are. And Alice reminds me so much of Doctor Rivers. I can't, I can't the analogy out of my head. Must be pretty popular, huh? That's right. The game's been catching on lately. The Yaya <laughs> Publishing House in Inazuma has even published a series of light novels based on the game. The story is really but yeah, good. interesting. It starts okay, with a young but guy in which Sumeru way will the wind blow? An ancient casket of there it is. Back. It's another line from Open Bohemian Rhapsody. Any way the wind blows, it doesn't really matter. The Crocodile King has been captured inside. There it is again. There it, it is, a freaking again. The Crocodile King was King Deshred's viceroy, who battled an opponent named the Ibis King. During the match, the crocodile king fell And then she says a lot of people crave to doesn't really care for it. It's like, yeah, it doesn't tunnels. really matter which way the wind blows, because the wind is supposed to be synonymous with time, the right? Kid. Like they literally the ended this with Bohemian Rhapsody. I, I just I can't. I can't. I can't. become a legendary TCG player. They ended his teaser with the uh, ominous fan and they ended this collective miscellany with any way the wind blows doesn't really matter to me. I can't handle it. If you're interested in how the story plays out, I lend you the novel. I just no. I was I just thinking I, about I, that I, time I you requested an extension of your progress report deadline, oh citing personal reasons for the delay. <laughs> well, uh, By your logic, why did people in Inazuma not attribute the tree to anything? Because as far as they're concerned, the tree already work, and has always but it's existed. Now. So I think, I think in the I case of like, creating new branches of Ermansel, that's the one thing I don't quite understand. Well, that's so, unfortunate. Ermansel itself, well, like, since it's a doesn't gift seem to be able to do all that with. much. I thought that I should at least try to the people we've seen use it. The that only way, exception we have that to that I is Makoto. And oh, right. A seems to think and that Makoto had help it. from Istra, no. who's the god of time. So the only instance we have of someone actually altering the past, like legitimately, is Istra not on the like we can't learn how to play it anytime soon, because Timaeus has given up for a while. So I personally <laughs> well, think that Ermansoul's power is limited. 
But I think if you'd like to learn the rules of Genius Invocation TCG, then I'd actually suggest you go to the Cat's Tale. The, the, okay, so... Yeah, if I may rant for like 20, 30 it's seconds. Where everyone um, in the community goes to play Izuma when they have time. They annoys me now more than ever. And they're very because well all of the things that Trying happened in it rules can be really, at first, really but it's needed the context of, the, of the stuff going on in Sumeru. Traveler, like, it needed all know, of that context for any of it to go to the and try asking around. So I'm kind of pissed to be that honest, Inazuma happened when and how it happened. Because as far as I'm concerned, we should, well, we, really should we should have gone to Sumeru first. We really should have. We should have gone to Sumeru, in my opinion. We should have gone through, like, the first couple of Archon quests. And then we should have gone to Inazuma, gone through those Archon quests, and then finished Sumeru's Archon quest. That's how I think the story should have gone. And obviously some things would have to change, right? Like, you, you need to be able to be like, Oh, well, we need to get to Inazuma, we don't know how, so let's just go to the neighboring nation that we can walk to. Um, so, yeah, I... I it's, it just really annoys me. Because we, we didn't, just didn't understand any of it, and even looking back on it now, because it happened over a year ago, how many people really remember what, what what happened then? Like a lot of the stuff that's happening now feels shocking, but like when you look back at Inazuma, you're like, oh, no, all of this makes perfect sense. It's just like all of the things happened, and it makes sense now. We just Welcome laughed to the back then. I just oh, you know, it's it, the it traveler and Paimon. What a nice the tree surprise! Fire, I'm not oh, sure. And Sucrose the Alchemist. Because like it's been on the a while, hasn't it? You could say that uh, it might be like that one before. underwater scene from the Cat's Tail theater. staff is not for sale. Um, no matter how much more you offer. <laughs> Which never ended up happening. Don't worry, Margaret. Or it might just We're not happen here for that in the future. Project, like, I told you it looks like we might get an Archon quest uh, every quest. patch. What kind of experiment were you trying to do? Because think about it, this is an interlude patch, right? Uh, oh, so we're getting an interlude well, patch for an Archon quest in 3.3. 3.4, we should materials. be getting a new area, God, because that's uh, the path. We can talk about that later. You get a new Actually, boss, Margaret, and you get a new artifact set, and then you get a new area. Um, and then... Ah, oh, Genius Invocation TCG! With those we new were areas, just talking about that game. we you usually see, get another more people have been gathering we at the still need to get a daily quest. So I thought, why not have a dedicated so staff to serve the one new one customers? Or two additional quests that we need Speaking to get, of which, take us I believe you've already met. <laughs> so, you know Prince. This is the cat's tail after all. So I thought having a cat take care of our Where's customers the pages of would be quite a nice touch. I think the entire arc of Sumeru is called the pages of Me to I don't interpret. think the um <clears throat> Prince anyone the word is customer gonna be is much too loose of a term, and we should instead refer to anyone who loves dueling with cards as TCG players. Hmm. <laughs> My mistake. So it seems I haven't introduced you yet. But yeah, new area this is Prince quest and quest Shuyin. Is quite the next they will be in charge of taking care of our TCG players. Uh, I, I'm afraid I must correct you there, ma'am. Only Prince, yeah. the strongest and most formidable TCG player of all, is capable of providing valuable guidance to our new players. The we'll average we'll player is incapable of grasping the subtlety and sheer genius behind Prince's every play, and he has no choice but to rely on me to communicate with everyone. Why was he near that bunny? I am merely Prince's lonely assistant. That's all. When in the timeline? Yeah, this is where. William is kind of genius in the sense that they've actually given themselves the one and only prince. a retcon machine with the game. Such a remark is an insult to prince. So if they ever want to change something, they can. Just whenever. What's that? For whatever reason. Sure, yeah. They don't even have to like go back and rewrite things. They can just be like, oh no, I mean like no that kind of stuff happened. Yeah, yeah but then Ermin sold change. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It wasn't just part writers right. lacking foresight. I was like, uh, you know, it was like actual plot I do apologize. <laughs> yeah. It seems he really is capable of communicating with the cat. He's got us a flower, a Could this be the result of some modifications of the language center of his brain? Seriously. 
I gave you enough hints about the goddess of flowers in part two. I'm not giving you any. Yes, it was the sacred duels of genius invocation, TCG, that formed and cemented uh, okay. our Why isn't the abyssal twin Lucifer instead of the traveler? Listen, okay, it's both of them are Lucifer. It's not one or the other, both of them are. Players can develop a deeper level of understanding between I thought I made it kind of clear, but I guess I didn't. Um, so, the morning star and the evening star are the same star. TCG fosters some sort of a They're called by two different names. Link between they are players? the same. Hmm. Star. They are both on down. Venus. They are uh -huh. Venus. Anyway, if you'd like to know anything about genius so invocation about TCG, one then Lucifer please and ask Shugan. Like uh, who will ask Prince? Though I'd love to explain more. It's myself. funny that they're actually a planet though, because, like, technically, um, angels were like celestial the bodies in the sky, like stars and stuff. Just as a Whereas seasoned warrior can foresee the path of his opponent's system. sword, so too can I, as a TCG master, predict uh, my opponent's path. I would highly pathway. recommend you it would be check out to paint a newcomer the, to the uh, arts of the card against the one such as myself. And I one? must therefore politely. I think it's a three point one. That's what Prince said. recap video. Oh, I tell you everything you need to know about the desert world. Fine, then Prince doesn't have to. We'll play we'll you play instead. I'm sorry, but from the day I met the mighty Cardmaster Prince, I swore an oath that my hands would live solely to hold the cards and yeah. not to play them. I will never play another match of my own again. What if they two have the same hole, one is called the same out, and the other same heaven? Then I guess I we should yeah, look for an alternative. The thing is, is, if you look at the travelers, <gasps> they're this? perfect mirrors Diana? of each other. Like, one is male, one is female. One has lunar motifs, one has solar motifs. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, one is, is left-handed, the other is right-handed. You know? One does vertical slashes in their combo, while the other one in the same Why is it that every number of combo string will do a horizontal slash. One focuses on hands, the other focuses on feet. Don't they have any that kind of thing. that the key you know, to playing the game like, is they, the they ability to think straight? So the fact that they Seriously. could be the same entity Games kind of split in half is possibility. Don't they get that? No, Ether is right-handed. <sighs> It's Lumine that's left handed. I'll tell you why As it's confusing. Owner, if you watch Lumine, happy to hear all of her this. skills are done with her left hand. Anyway, I see all you've been working skills. hard. The only so time that she's use right handed is when so she uses her sword. Come over and the here reason and I think these that's the, the rules case of genius is because when they do animated cutscenes with the Traveler, they animate the scene first with Ether, which means that all of the storyboarded shots and everything would be done assuming that Ether is right handed with the sword, right? And then what they do is they replace Ether after the animation is done with Lumine. And if they were to uh, also know, swap for sword hand, they would have to flip all of the animations and like recut a lot of it, and that's a lot of work, so that's why I think they made her sword um, right handed. But if you watch her, all of her skills are done with her left hand. Like first step in destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry should be stabbing out the spread of genius invocation TCG. What do you think about Dana's fame and Susty as the second who came? Mistaken. I don't think that's. You said it though. yourself a clear mind is necessary to win. Soon, their thirst for victory will overcome their thirst for alcohol. Did you say which Prince traveler is which? Like, who's the sun, who's the moon? Um, Not the moon is the moon, the because she has all the lunar motifs. No obstacle uh, to your goal of destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry. There's, there's a really, okay, actually, let's see if I can endeavor. find this. Um, could, could I'll show really? you, hold up. Sure, why not? Alrighty then, uh, our Genshin, two customers are traveler, waiting to learn. Shuyan, let's put you on so. drink fixing duty for now. But Shu Yen is destined for a far I'll greater I'll purpose. Oh Shu Yen, drink mixing now. Oh, okay. I'll show you what I mean. Ooh, as soon as it's bad, we'll it need stops. some space to learn. <laughs> Let's go to that empty table over there. All right. I'm also gonna slow this way down. <laughs> the wind rises. So. So he does horizontal. You see what I'm saying? When he goes right, she goes left. <laughs> okay, let's go through the rules. When he opens up first forward, she first. shows her You'll back. They're like, deck, so place that on the they're table. like backwards to each other. Uh, they they actually deck? mirror each other. Uh, yes. 
You should have built a deck. You know, a so set like, of cards that meets here. the bare minimum requirement to play the game. This is a perfect example. So Lumine is doing a vertical strike on the same number combo as Ether's doing a horizontal one. And the same for their very first strike. Very first strike, Ether does a vertical. Very first strike, Lumine does a horizontal. Uh, yeah. You're gonna need a few more cards than that. So like, they are actually legitimately inverted uh, of each other. Ether has a lot of solar motifs. He's wearing mostly black. Uh, Lumine has a lot of lunar motifs. She's wearing, wearing mostly white. Between. Ether has oh, long hair, Lumine has short hair. I, I mean, mind. like, I noticed a the more you watch them, the more you realize how color. obvious it is that they are... <laughs> Maybe you could use those for now. Inverted. Are you sure that's okay? I'm trying to... It's already been a few days. He still hasn't come back to claim them. Who knows? So you'll Maybe see... Maybe them here on purpose. Here. Oh, okay, yeah, I got them here with me. See if you know, can. just in case the customer came looking for them. I want to do it on the side. Not because I like to play the game or anything. <laughs> Please. All right, so now we have... Okay, I want you to have. see what I mean. That's everything we need, right? Yep. So, Take a look at this wind blade. They're both facing the same way. Ether is using his right hand. Lumine is using her left hand, right? So yeah, the this, this, this is what I mean, though. Like, if you go to Geo, if you go look at the Geo, too, the Geo one's fun. Simply put, because, this um, is a game where you control character cards to duke it out with your opponent. Pew, pew, pew. Once you've defeated all of your opponent's character cards, victory shall be yours. Now then, you're going to need a character on the field to start with. I wanted to show the burst Let's finish because... This swiftly. First, we roll eight elemental dice at the start of every round. Oh, that's not it. I wanted to show the burst on the front, but maybe they don't have that one. These dice correspond to elemental energy. We'll be spending these dice oh, yeah, to perform right actions. So watch, Lumine's gonna use her legs. Ether's gonna use his feet. Oh, sorry, other way around. <laughs> Once the gonna raises use his over, arms, you'll enter the Lumine action phase, legs. where the real game starts. During the action phase, you can spend elemental yeah. dice to perform various actions. Of course, the most common action is to use character skills. The Makoto and A1 along with the Traveler went to the past and edited the history by placing the tree, right? Th this is the thing though, right? Like. Istaroth had a hand in that. That wasn't an Ermin soul thing. Istaroth planted a tree in You just the made your first attack. Ermin soul didn't During do the that. Phase, Ermin soul didn't both edit Both sides will that. take turns right. making their moves. After you use a skill to attack your opponent, it's their turn to attack. That's why I am saying, like, yeah. And as you can see, once the enemy finishes their move, it's our turn again. There's a lot of little things like that that I think are really cool, but like, I, I, it just annoys me that freaking Hoyo built in a retcon machine. They can be spent on any move regardless of the elemental type. So, we're gonna use them to pay for the pyro dice needed for this skill. He is notorious for getting retcon a lot, so that's why it bothers. <laughs> that was pretty good! That's anyway, one of anyway, anyway, anyway. down for the count. Um, yep, that's all, that's all I have for now. We're, we'll see, the game uh, has only we'll just see begun. what I, um, I, I, I do with the next video. It's either going to be part two, to or sorry, part three of the, the finale of this three-part series I've been working on. Hmm. Where we well, will be talking about like Celia and Seems the God like of Time. Seems like we run out of usable dice. Because, believe it or not, case, these first two videos this round. After you end round, are less we'll able theories to in and of themselves, and round. more, here's and some once context everyone chooses end for round, part three. We can move I had to do an round. hour's worth of context for this one video, which is going to be incredibly dense. My brain is going to hurt. Um, so I'm either going to do part three, or I'm going to do a Skarmish Deep Dive. I'm going to do one of the two. All right! Here we are! A it, fresh it, and honestly, new this round. round is probably more likely to come out sooner because and a fresh new round um, means it'll be easier time to for roll me the dice again. Less research. That's how we're going to get the elemental energy we need, after all. So. Yeah. Anyway, I am tired. So I'm, I'm 
There's no way we'll be able to use um, deluxe thanks you guys now. for coming out and hanging out with me and Osaka. Like these are the only option too. Um, if you Reroll. missed the uh, <laughs> the, the polls, you can what I'm gonna the do is like. compile and the polls them. into one shorter video so that you can just look at those if you want to. Because I know this was kind of long, and it was like a lot of me just like we. I'm flying, and that's not really all that fun to watch. So. Uh, yeah, I hope everyone had really excellent pulls. Um, I'm sorry if you didn't. When the action phase begins, the player who first yeah, chooses the round in the previous a, round takes their turn uh, first. Ad blocker, this but, means um, that since you finished right now, the first round, that's where I'm you'll be the first to start action. this round. Um, Alrighty then, my, my let's learn a little bit about energy and elemental bursts. Each time oh, you use a skill, your character anyway, will gain one energy. Me. I'll see you all later. We'll have we'll have a we'll have a teapot lore stream. Um, Once Deluxe's energy is full, okay. he can use we'll a powerful elemental burst. We'll do that. And do lots of questions burst. and answers and fun things. And for those of you who joined the members, I uh, hope to see Never you this morning. Let's start with the normal uh, attack instead. And, that, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Deluxe's normal attack. We got the C6 mochi. mochi. I'm now a mochi oh, man. Okay. Mochi, 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 mochi. <laughs> now we have three energy plus. We have enough pyro elemental dice left over. It's time to use your powerful elemental burst. actual game of Genius Invocation TCG, you need to use multiple character cards to form a party. Next up, it's time for your second character card, Kaya, to take the stage. Oh, it seems like any move by Kaya is going to cost quite a lot of cryo dice. When you deal cryo damage, you'll cause your target to be affected by cryo. Freeze! Good! Now our opponent is affected by cryo. This is a good time to learn about elemental reactions. Different types of elemental damage affect enemies with different elements. When a character is affected by certain elemental combos, an elemental reaction will be triggered. At the moment, your opponent is affected by cryo, so we should try and use a pyro skill on them. Looks like we have to switch active characters, though. Oh, that reminds me. Both sides must have one active character, while others are considered standby characters. Normally, we can only use the active character skills. Now, if we want to use the skills of our standby character, we'll have to switch them to the active character. In this case, we'll have to switch to d in order to use his skills. You can spend one elemental die of any kind. Let's finish this swiftly. Switching characters is an action just like using a skill. So once it's done, it's your opponent's turn. Most skills can only target the active character. As you can see, your opponent just attacked Diluc. All right then, now that Diluc is our active character, it's time to use his skill. Because the opponent is already affected by Cryo, dealing Pyro damage triggers the Melt Elemental Reaction. When triggered, Melt increases damage dealt by two. This will allow you to deal loads of damage in one go. <laughs> Alright, 
Next up, let's learn how to use card types other than character cards. These cards are all known as action cards. Each time a match starts, you have to draw five action cards to form your starting hand. TCG. Keeping up a constant flow of combat is much more important than the number of cards you have. In this case, well, <laughs> let's just take all these useless cards and use them for elemental tuning. Just like playing cards from your hand, elemental tuning is a fast action. Come on, hurry up! Use elemental tuning to get yourself three pyro dice. Look at that! Finally, we now have enough elemental dice to use Searing Onslaught! Because you have the White Iron Greatsword equipped, Searing Onslaught will deal one extra damage! What? Now comes the final part! Oh yeah! In a real match, you can make adjustments to your initial hand. At this time, we can select any number of cards in our hand to shuffle back into the draw pile, and then draw the same number of new cards. What? any adjustments you wish to make to your starting hand, both players have to select their starting active character at the same time. Oh boy, this one's a real doozy. We gotta take it out pronto. Let's see how you do this time. Remember, start by selecting your initial starting character. 
Let's finish this swiftly. intentions for this round. All your opponent's intended actions for the round will be listed here in order. Reference this to come up with effective countermeasures and easily defeat your opponents. Well then, that's the end of the tutorial. You're on your own from here. May victory be yours! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There's one more thing I almost forgot. Every time you hit an end phase, you get to draw two cards from your action cards pile. Remember, you have to make use of both your elemental dice and your action cards to win. Did you get all that? What we just played was an adventure challenge designed specially for new players. 
Genius Invocation TCG can be played in dual mode, where each player brings three character cards. Or in Adventure Challenge mode, with a fixed deck for each challenge. But the rules are all the same. As long as you understand the basics, then you should be able to take on any of those rowdy booze hounds. Although I feel there are still many details to grasp, I think I understand the basic premise of the game now. That was quite the detailed explanation. I didn't know the Cat's Tales' famous mixologist had such an eclectic skill set. What? What? Oh, when did you get here? I stepped in while you were in the middle of your explanation. I hope I didn't dampen the mood. You snuck in without making a sound! <laughs> anyway, what are you doing here? The Cat's Tale is a player in Mondstadt's alcohol industry. Naturally, you have some collaboration with my winery. I'm here today to discuss a few items of business with Margaret. Hmm, too bad she just left. But if you head off right now, you might still catch up with her. Never mind. It's nothing urgent. In fact, I think I'm now more interested in this card that you're using to teach them the game. Wait. This card? It's Diluc's character card! Although I have some degree of experience with Genius Invocation TCG, seeing this particular card is a first for me. Uh, a customer left it behind a few days ago, but he wasn't even playing the game while he was here. Oh? And what sort of a customer was it? Uh... He wasn't wearing an eye patch, okay? He had a light complexion and a super serious look on his face. He wasn't much of a talker and looked like he was just drinking his worries away. You never seen him around here before. Hmm. Eye patch, you say? Gah! I was trying to give the opposite description, but I just ended up giving it away. Sorry, guard captain. Don't worry. Somehow, I don't think he'll be giving you any trouble over it. So, what about the Dilu character card? I don't mind. It's just a card with my image on it. I didn't expect Dilu to be familiar with Genius Invocation TCG. The game has been catching on lately. It's hard to go anywhere without hearing it mentioned. Every now and then, I'll sit down and play a game with the customers and angels share. I was hoping we could play a game, but this issue of someone leaving a character card with my image of the cat's tail is very intriguing. It's getting late, and someone has some explaining to do. We'll have to have that duel another time. Good. Then I'll take my leave. You know where the door is! Don't let the door hit you where Lord Morbido split you. Uh-oh. Guard Captain. I hope Kaya will be alright. Well, now that we are familiar with the rules, why don't we try playing a game of Genius and Magician TCG? Ooh, two new players having their first ever duel! <laughs> this sounds like fun! But, in order to play an official duel, you need to have three character cards. Remember, a complete deck has to have three character cards and 30 action cards. Got it? Then, let's use my cards. These were mixed in with all the others I had received. And I didn't know what they were for at first. But now that we've learned the rules, I can see that this one must be the Sucrose character card. Now, it looks like we each have the Kaya, Diluc, and Sucrose character cards. So why don't we have our first duel? Alright, let's duel!
adventure challenge you tried previously, duels are true tests of strength between two players. In a duel, your opponent can also use action cards, and they'll also be able to grab new cards during an end phase. At the same time, your opponent must also spend elemental dice to take actions, so you'll be unable to view their intent. Unlike the adventure challenge you tried previously, duels are true tests of strength between two players. In a duel, your opponent can also use action cards, and they'll also be able to grab new cards during an end phase. At the same time, your opponent must also spend elemental dice to take actions, so you'll be unable to view their intent. <laughs> are you ready? It's time for some exhilarating fights to the bitter end. Mewza! Let's go.
this. There can be. Darn. I didn't factor that into the equation. Ready when you are. Let's finish this swiftly. The rules must be more complicated than I first thought. Every decision is a difficult trade-off in this game. If there was only a way to transplant the arms of the two standby characters onto the active character's body... That's not how the rules work, Sucrose! Don't be a sore loser. That kind of thing is looked down on in TCG circles. Oh, I am sorry. I was beaten fair and square. I know that. I just can't stand losing.
but it was a fun match. Paimon didn't know you could get so competitive, Sucrose. I always get a little upset when I lose. It's like that with my research, too. It always gets to me when my experiments don't go as planned. Especially when there's an alchemy genius like Albedo around to compare myself to. Get you down. But it's way better to keep trying until you win than to just accept you're a plain old loser and give up. Hmm. You make a good point, Diona. Besides, Sucrose, you're already making great progress. It'd take at least eight of our regular booze hounds to match your level. You played well this last match. Thank you. I'm just a little disappointed to lose, that's all. But Genius and Vacation TCG is a really fun game. Good! Having fun is the main thing. If you ever want to play again in the future, feel free to come by the Gatsdale. Uh, but don't expect me to play with you. I just mean, this place probably has the right atmosphere. I'll definitely be back. All right. I think you should have all the basics down by now. I need to get back to bartending. Sheehan's likely been busy making his tavern more popular with his delicious cocktails. Pui, pui, pui. And we can't have that. Huh. Burning Mondstadt's wine industry to the ground keeps me pretty busy, you know. So if you need any more help, go bother Sheehan. I see. So you have now grasped the rules of Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! The Travelers, Sucrose, and Paimon are TCG players now! Uh, Paimon picked it up from watching you and Sucrose. Becoming a TCG player is not as simple as that. You cannot call yourselves true TCG players until you have passed the test. Oh, sobering words from Prince there. But I'm afraid he's right. To become official players recognized by the Genius Invocation TCG Society, you have to pass the test. It's just a tabletop card game. I'm not sure how you would plan on achieving something like that. Basically, to become an official and recognized TCG player, you have to best three opponents in a duel. So... You have to win three duels against three different opponents? The duel you just played can count towards this tally. I agree. Although I didn't get to observe the match myself, I did listen along. And from what I could hear, you both performed at a rather high level. Same way you can hear what Prince says? A well-trained ear is a basic skill expected of anyone hoping to become a TCG master. But back to the matter at hand. The Traveler only needs to beat two more opponents to become an official TCG player. Sucrose, you may have lost the last duel, but don't be disheartened. I can assure you that winning three games is well within your ability. But first things first, Shuyen. Before that, our TCG newcomers should receive their free gift. Oh, yes, my goodness! Completely slipped my mind. 
I'm lucky to have Prince here to remind me. Everyone who wants to start playing Genius Invocation TCG is entitled to claim a free casket of tomes. Oh, Timaeus mentioned it, didn't he? It was from the light novels he's been reading. The thing that the main character found in his attic. Oh, that's right! The soul of an ancient TCG player was trapped inside, right? So the casket of tomes is actually real? Uh, well... Actually, all card cases in Genius Invocation TCG are called Caskets of Tomes. Not only do they provide a reliable and sturdy container to store your decks, they can also sense when other people in the area are also carrying a Casket of Tomes with them. Oh, I might guess what you're gonna say next. The reason they can sense each other is because they have the souls of ancient TCG players inside. That would mean an extraordinarily high number of people in history have been turned into disembodied souls as a consequence of playing card games? No. The real reason that it can sense other caskets is because it holds a nifty little mechanism invented by Sumeru scholars. of tomes are issued by Margaret, so you will need to see her probably for the best. If Prince and I were responsible for handing them out, knowing how eager we both are to promote the game, we'd probably have dished them all out by now. Okay, so go and see Margaret to claim your casket of tomes, use it to find another player, beat them in a duel, and then come back here. But even for the Traveler, that's only two wins in total. What about the last one? I shall choose the final contestant he must beat in order to become an official TCG player, for it must be one of comparable prowess. Excellent plan, Prince. Happy dueling, both of you. Prince seems to have high hope. Uh, let me guess. You're here to order a drink. Huh. Oh, it's you! So, how are your Genius Invocation matches going? You need to win three matches to become an official TCG player? Oh, yeah! Now you mention it, I remember there being some sort of rule about that. Why'd they have to make it so competitive? It's just a game. Why can't people just have fun? Hmm. I'll never understand why grown-ups have to put a bunch of stupid rules on everything.
Follow me. Hello, you three. Has little Diona finished teaching you the rules of genius invocation? I see you're here for your casket of tomes, aren't you? <laughs> A very useful tool indeed. Right? A purpose-built case for your card deck that can even detect when someone else nearby is carrying one. Gosh. Yeah, well, even the most fun game is pretty lonely if you got no one else to play it with. True. So I'm glad that these customers, uh, <coughs> TCG players, are able to congregate at the cat's tail. You're not wrong, but that's secondary. The important thing to me is the opportunity for like-minded people to come together and enjoy their favorite hobby. It creates a nice atmosphere. Anyway, now that you have your caskets of tomes, it's time to find some opponents. All right. In that case, I'll go find some people to play against, too. Let's meet back at the cat's tail in a while. Thanks. I'll do my best. I just tell it like it is. 